What's up guys? Car is loaded. Another camping day today. Uh, planning to go to Stevenson's Falls Campground. Um, I'll get it where it is. It's in Otway National Park or Otway Far Forest Park. Stevenson's Falls Campground has Stevenson's Falls as well. So the plan is to include waterfalls as well. It's not actually at the campground. Waterfalls are at a bit of a walk from the campground. So we'll see how it goes. So time now is uh, five o'clock in the evening and it's gonna take an hour and a half from where I am now. So we should be able to get there by 6.30ish approximately as per the GPS, so let's go. Okay, so we arrived at the Stevenson's Falls campground and this is the campsite I think I've chosen. It's not quite busy, I mean there are a lot of people but still a lot of campsites are free. There's no one there and there's a little creek behind. You can see a bit of water going there. There are fire pits available. Oh, look at that. How good is that? Some noises there. It's not very peaceful. There are people playing around in water. Um, I'm right at the entrance of the campground. This is where you enter from. And this is probably one of the first sites, which was free. There's only a couple of cars there and there. And I think I'll set up around here. Near the fire pit would be good. And there's benches here, there's a bridge, that's where I came from and went in there. So if you go straight, that'll go straight to the waterfall, that road. And look what I have in my campsite. Somebody's made a swing. It's tied up to the thingy and go wooey. We'll try it later. <laughs> so time to set up, time now is quarter to seven reached in time so first things first let's set it up plan for food before it gets dark yeah Okay, time now is 7.20. I have sort of set it up. Just gonna put the thingies in there, mattress and stuff. And I think I'll start preparing the dinner soon before it gets dark. And we'll finish off the setup later on. So that's how it looks like. Tent pit is done. Car is not too far away, so easy to get the stuff in. Actually, there's a tap water too, I didn't know. Which is good. We'll check it out later. So I'm just going to set up my food and gas here and not further up on the where the barbecue or where the fire pits are because there's a lot of trees above that and there are leaves and stuff falling over there. Even up here there are trees but not as much. So this is relatively safer. So I'm going to set it up here. That's the swing. Okay, that's so far I've done. It's 7.25. It's taking longer than I think. But if the dinner gets in time, I should be fine after that. Because that's the only thing I want to get it done before it gets dark. I don't know why, but I might just take a swing first. Test its strength.
people are watching silly person they look very strong check it in the morning all right back to food too much distractions okay so for dinner i've got these veggies carrots broccoli and cauliflower they've got herb butter in it too so i'm gonna make them and then i've got chicken breast sticks sticks it says quick grilling it's got honey mustard marinade so all i have to do is put it in the pan and fry it and i've also got this pasta salad so combine these three should be good enough for tonight let's go and check the tap i'm going to wash my hands first i don't want to use my water if there is tap available there oops it doesn't work it's got this thingy here and there's no way to turn it on i can't turn it on oh looks like a rare bird see you later all right i'm gonna back to my bottle wash hands the hard way so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna boil my veggies first and then pan fry them so they cook quicker There's the butter, we'll keep it for later. The butter can go back in there. Okay. Veggie seems to be done. Just gonna take them out on a plate. Now we're gonna cook our chicken. So let's try this one as a snack and then I'm going to cook the next batch for dinner. It's cooking very fast so it shouldn't be a problem. And time now is 10 to 8. So we've still got roughly 40-45 minutes of daylight left. Let's smash this. All right, round two, dinner. What I'm gonna do is put these veggies in there as well. And throw in the butter. that's my dinner for tonight chicken veggies pasta salad beer and time is 10 past 8 should be all right All right, so dinner is done, dishes are done. Time's 8.30, which is not too bad. So I've got a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes of daylight left. So I would really want to finish 
my inside setup and then we are free for the night night people have done fire, doing fire at the back i got stuff for fire but i don't, just don't have time today um we're just a bit too late so maybe leave the fire for the next time again so the way campsites are properly marked by these black boulders you know how they're separated if i can show you the other one behind me you can see these black boulders that that's parking for two spots and that that's a site where they can tent so yeah, it's like random. One or two fire pits with every campsite, I guess. See the parking spot? That's empty. And I parked on the other one. So it looks like the one who was parked here, that's their campsite. So it's free, free camping. First come, take whatever spot you, you can. There's no booking required as such. So less talking, I'll talk later. Let me set it up first. Still setting up. Two hours. Two hours? Roughly two hours. That's the fun of camping. Let's have a look at the inside setup. There you go. So what I've done is that's my clothing bag, shoes in the corner, some extra pillow. That's a bed. I've got a mosquito repellent, the racket, in case some bugs come in, because there are some bugs, so I've got to keep this closed. Okay. There's a light up on top. And there's a torch. And that's just the covers for the bags. Side table, that's my charging stuff. Bottle of water. I'm actually a bit tired. Time now is quarter to nine. So I did all right with the time. I'm setting up. There's still a bit of light outside. It's still not completely dark yet. It's not as peaceful. People are noisy here few groups Thursday night I wasn't expecting still busy considering Thursday night and there are no holidays and stuff uh, it's very very popular one of the most popular free campgrounds along the Great Ocean Road Stevenson's Falls Stevenson's Falls itself is known to be Victoria's biggest falls I don't know we'll try and see tomorrow now the only slight problem I think is when I was looking, when I, when I first came in and was having a look at the climb sites, the walk which actually goes to the falls is closed. But then you can also drive up to the falls car park, which I was planning to do anyways, which is right next to where I show you the swing with the bridges. You drive through that and then you go up to you know, falls parking. So I'll try and do that and hopefully the walk from the parking ahead to the falls is not closed. But the walk from here to the falls, which is a bit longer of course, that is closed. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But for now, uh, let's go out for a walk and see what's happening in the outside real world. This is where I've set it up. That's my washing station. That's my cooking station. That's my driving station. And let's go for a walk. See how cars can come in. So that's definitely one campsite. And then you can park here. It's actually you can park three, four cars here. Two up there and then some here as well. Nice. So these black boulders actually divide. So they're campgrounds on both sides. So as you enter the campground, on your left is the creek, the river. It's actually a river, not a creek, I think. Stevenson's River. And then you can park on the both sides. This side are bushes. It's same setup on both sides. Divided by boulders, you park. And there are heaps of fire pits. Toilets. These are the drop toilets. Yeah, some people love it. So you can park right next to it, your campsite, and that's where you can get. So this is where the toilets are. I'm not gonna go in. Just wanted to show you how far the toilets are. I think there are another set of toilets up the front. Let's go. I'm not gonna record these people aloud. Okay, so this is the walk which goes from the campground to Stevenson Falls 
and as you can see Stevenson's Falls closed walk is closed on earth oh, there's a red thing there. I'm not sure you can see so you can't go this is where you walk to the falls it's return 4.6 kilometers from here one to three hours but if you drive up to the car park it's a lot shorter walk hopefully that's not closed okay there's another set of toilets right here drop toilets so two set of toilets and the campsites this information no point now we'll read it come back tomorrow morning so this is where the campground ends it goes around and then you go back the same way you come from okay so came back to my site now what you're gonna do is first we went that way made a circle came back now we're gonna go this way the other way so this is a path with act which actually goes to the fall where I'm planning to drive to tomorrow that's the beginning of the campsite few campsites up there as well so this actually goes to Stevenson Falls okay no motorbikes allowed here just so you know no hooting no shooting okay we'll keep it in mind no overtaking or passing because it's a narrow bridge over the river this walk this path goes to stevenson falls car park okay cars do not go to the falls there's a bit of a walk from the car park to the falls yeah, there's a river not sure how much is visible but it is what it is what's on this side oh this side is also a river what a coincidence let's go now i don't know where this path goes to this one stays says stevenson falls which is closed uh oh That's going to be interesting tomorrow. Hmm. They have closed the falls. Stevenson's falls are closed, might. No car, no camping, no walking. Okay. I heard koalas. Okay. So looks like We'll have to come back again some other day for the falls because I was hoping that this would be at least open, can drive up to, but it is not. Which is okay. It's only two hours from where, we, where I live. What is it? Strange noises, creepy noises. What are they trying to scare me or something? You can still see a bit in the camera light, but I can't see anything. Okay. You probably bathe in the river in the morning. I don't know. I'm just wrapping random stuff. Because I'm not happy the falls are closed. I was really hoping to show you guys. That's koalas. Did you hear it? That's koalas. That one. Hmm. There are koalas here, I've heard. I haven't seen any. Oh well. If no Stevenson's Falls, then so be it. Let it be Stevenson's River. We'll probably walk around the river in the morning. I've got breakfast to plan. I don't have a whole day tomorrow, so I need to get back home before the lunchtime anyway, so hopefully so. But if the falls are closed, we'll definitely come back here. Here is my home. What am I supposed to do now? What can I do?
Let's think of it something. All right, so time now is quarter past nine and I have made an executive decision to chill in the tent. The noise is coming from outside. Bro. So unless something happens, I'll see you in the morning. If something interesting happens, I'll come back on, come back and record again. Otherwise, I'm just going to chill because I'm very tired. It was a full day of work, then an hour and a half of drive. Then setting up, preparing dinner and everything um, in a rush as well. So uh, I've explored the campground. In the morning, we'll have a better look. But now I think it's time to say good night. And I'll see you in the morning. Sleep tight. Bye for now. Morning. Time now is 10 past 6. Still a bit dark here. These noises were there all night. Yeah. And the temperature dropped dramatically. It was very, very cold. So I suggest come prepared for winters. We are in the middle of summers here, but it was really, really cold. I had to take like three blankets. But other than that, it was all right. <laughs> These noises were there all night. I don't know. What are they? I know one of them is koala. Not this one. Other one. So, yeah. Once it gets a little bit light, I'll get out. And then we'll start the day. Till then, I'm just going to chill out. Oh, I've got no option. It's so cold. I'll have to chill out. It is really chilly. All right, time now is quarter to seven. A bit of light. And look, we got some visitors. Little ducks. They were the one who were noisy all night. So I'm just going to freshen up a bit. And then we're going to start making breakfast soon. Oh, look, they're so close. They don't care. There are heaps of them. So I managed to collect some twigs from around. There's one more here. To see if we have any luck with the fire. That's a good one. Okay, finally, fire has been started. It was very cold, so it feels really nice now. But I don't have much wood, so it's not gonna go for too long, but it's good enough for me. So for breakfast, I'm keeping it simple. I've got this bread. I'm gonna put meal on that and there's chicken, cans of chicken. That's for breakfast along with coffee, of course. They're back. <clears throat> Out of nature. Alright, breakfast done. Dishes are done. 
let's just go for a walk quick walk around it's time now is 8 20 and i need to start packing up soon <laughs> now let's see the information there some rules hmm. dogs are allowed but must be under control means on leash so you gotta take all the rubbish with you fire needs to be put out you can collect firewood from here but just enough of what you need don't cut down the trees motorcycles are allowed must be licensed use of soap and detergent blah 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 or tracks do not feed any animals within the forest lucky i didn't feed the ducks they were around me that's the map stevenson's falls campground pretty big trees i think i mentioned it earlier anyways let's keep going quickly So that's the area I was saying for caravan. I think this is the only site I saw where you can actually drive into. You can drive into it and yeah, park it here. This big one is one site. Still very cold, even though sun's out, it is very cold. It's like winters. I don't know how many degrees, but it's bloody cold enough to get my hands freezing. And I've got a jumper on. So yeah, oh, there it is, path to the falls is closed, still closed until further notice. There were storms a few days ago, three or four days ago, I'm assuming it's something to do with that. It was very windy, a lot of trees fell over, um, so there could be some damage in there due to those storms. So that's why it's closed, that's all right gives us a reason to come back here again okay there's more information let's see if it's any different to the one we saw earlier just to, oh, it's, pretty, it's the same one set up cam blah, 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 blah. they're actually the waterfalls which are closed so yeah no koalas, there are heaps of koalas here, I know. Just can't see them. I know they can see me. That's a private property actually at the back. I thought they were bushes. There's private property on one side and river on the other side of the campground. Free holiday. But having said that, the amount of money you spend on camping equipment is no less than any holiday okay that's me up there in the corner so I'll just I'll start packing up a bit because I won't need anything and the cooking eating sleeping once you pack away and if you get if you have time might sp uh, stop somewhere along the way if there's anything interesting and cover that up as well because I had an hour and a bit reserved for the waterfall, which will save. So, see what comes up. Okay, I'm all packed and ready to go time is 20 past nine what i want to do quickly is quickly go down there have a closer look to the river before before i leave so let's have a quick walk just make sure fires are put out before you leave your rubbish is all gone with you you make your campsite as you walked into not bad you can actually go in the water on a hot day so I saw some people playing in the water further up there when I first when I came in hmm. so yeah Stevenson's River same water coming from the falls the so falls is up that way all the way up 
All right, that's that was Stevenson's Falls Campground from me today. Uh, if there's anything interesting on my way back, I'll try and cover that up. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.